So I've installed the filament sensor. Uh, that's this part here. Cable just underneath. And you can see it goes through that hole there. <coughs> and then I fed it underneath the bracket where the spool holder screws into. So it's going through there. And then there's a, a hole just down there where the fit, uh, cables feed in. Okay, basically we're at the uh, the base of the uh, printer. This is uh, the main board. Um, this is the cable from the filament sensor. It's fed in quite nicely um, from here. Um, basically what we've got to do is um, remove the main board so we can access the port um, where the filament sensor is plugged into which is just underneath here. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to access that without um, removing the main board. Um, so I'll just uh, undo the screws and possibly the two ribbon cables just to give it a bit of flexibility and then I should be able to drop this down and plug that um, that cable in and then hopefully we'll be uh, up and running. Um. Okay so what I've done is I've removed one of the um, ribbon cables and done the four um, screws uh, to hold the, the board in place and I've removed one of these um, posts that's um, just that was just underneath here that allows you to drop the whole board down and then you can access um, the socket for um, the filament sensor. So I'll plug that in now and um, then put all this back in, in place and um, hopefully we'll have an up and running filament sensor. Right, so that's um, everything connected and the printer plugged back in again. It's, um, change the settings on the menu, so let's wait for it to boot up, and then we want tools, filament, and then it's just a case of enabling filament sensor, and that's it.